guys, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with the biggest nail polish haul ever, what it feels like anyway. Um, I have so many, I'm not even going to do any more of this intro because I have so many, so many, so many. Quick disclaimer, I know somebody should not buy this much nail polish but what can I say? I'm going to start with the OPI, so I bought three of them this month. Um, my friend alerted me to the fact that some of a local discount store near where she lived was selling OPIs for cheap, so she grabbed me some. Um, the first one, that they were all from the Gwen Stefani collection from last year. The first one is I... Um, I always say this one wrong, but it's I Carol About You, and it's just a deep purple cream. You probably don't need this if you've got something similar. I have um, a grape affair from them, and I would actually be curious to compare them side by side, because I probably don't think there's that much difference. Um, but it's just one of their um, beautiful cream formulas. Um, last year's Gwen Stefani collection had really nice cream formulas. The one that I really want is the, um, the green one. It's on Fragrance Direct, something about played... And I really want that one. I think I'm going to have to buy that with some Christmas money. But that one there is um, I Carol About You. The other one she got me from that collection is um, I'll Tinsel You In, which is one of the glitter toppers. So a clear base, and then it's got white and black bar glitter and white and black um, squares. So in the when you look at it in the bottle here, it does look like it's in a tinted base, but it's not. It's completely clear, so you can just do one coat of this over any polish that you like and to give yourself kind of a nice checkerboard, Christmassy, it doesn't look like tinsel I guess, kind of look. So those two are from the Gwen Stefani collection that my friend got me. The last one was from TK Maxx. I haven't actually been trying not to buy any or go in TK Maxx because I spend too much. But this one actually I saw on the end and when I, I just got lost in it and I turned it over and it was Russian Navy and still haven't got the price on it. It was $3.99. Russian Navy is one of those older OPIs that I don't know if it's part of the core collection anymore or not. Maybe it's not. Um, but but these, this is just amazing. I just got lost in this. It's kind of, I don't know if it's a blue or a purple. It's that right in between. The camera can't even focus itself. And it's just so shimmery. And, oh, it, it's just like, if you want to do galaxy nails, this is the best way to describe it. This would be what you try and build up with galaxy nails using blues and purples. And it's all in one bottle. Um, absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to wear this one. So that one is Russian Navy. And those are the OPIs from this haul. Next I'll show you what I got in Black Friday and these first lot is from Models Own um, I decided to go on there because they were all half price and the only thing I would say with Models Own is I didn't get an email saying they'd been dispatched um, I don't know if, I have problems with some of my emails going to my junk and I probably should check but I didn't as far as I saw get an email saying they'd been dispatched so that was a little bit worrying but I did get them and I've never actually ordered from their website before. I've always just bought them in store. But the packaging is really um, cute. They come nicely bubble wrapped up. And I picked five. Like I say, they were all half price. I think if you bought five, they were half price. So I just bought five. I did buy these while I was feeding my son at three o'clock in the morning. So I couldn't actually remember what shades I bought. And now on reflection, I think I would have only... Well, basically, this I talked about the first two. These are very similar. Um, these are the Hyper Gel and Glitter Gel. So I did a review on the model's own Hyper Gels and I'll link them down below. And from that collection, this is the one that I really like the most. And it's called Loganberry. And it's just kind of like a dark cerise cherry kind of colour. And then I then obviously went for the similar sort of colour in the um, Glitter Gel range, which I haven't tried. And this is called Petunia Glitz. So possibly I didn't need both of those. I maybe should have picked a different Glitter Gel one. But what can you do? Um, so once I try those glitter gels, I'll be sure to um, get back to you on those. I then picked one more hyper gel because I don't have a lot of peaches in my collection. So I just went for the hyper gel in um, Long Beach Peach. Um, and that's just a, a peachy colour. Like I say, if you want to check out my video on the hyper gel range, it's down below there for you. And then I picked two of the chromes. Now, I really could have picked a lot more of these, but I didn't. Um, so the first one that I got was chrome blue. Oh, chrome blue and chrome indigo. These are the two that I went for. I picked these up because you don't see chromes in this type, kind of colour. And that's what makes them a little bit more new, unique. I was going to get the rose gold one, and I don't know why I didn't. Um, but these are the two that I went for. So I'm, really easy to, I'm looking forward to trying these and seeing how quickly they chip. Because um, when I normally wear metallic polishes or chrome polishes, they chip quite quickly. So those were the ones that I got from Models Own. So... Um, um, I have to say, I will link my review of Models Own down below for you. Next is very exciting. I'm going to show you some UK indies. And I don't show them as much as I should on this channel because um, I'm obviously from the UK. And they do amazing polishes. So this is the Star Wars set so excited um, from Danglefoot Nail Polish. Now when I went on to film this video today there was still a couple of sets of this left in stock so if you want them you need to be quick because they're not selling the polishes individually they're only selling it as the set. So look at the packaging. 
Look at that. Is it going to focus? Little Yoda. So obviously it was all packaged and bubble wrapped up. And then once we got in, this is what was greeted with me. So I literally haven't done anything. I've kept it all so I could show you all. So this was a special one of gift set, like I said, and it was £25, which is a really good price. So it came with Star Wars chocolate. And then it came with um, a Star Wars button. Now, I'm going to be linking these down below individually because this was made by um, Pam Crafted, who's also on Etsy. And you could either get an RTD2, Chewbacca, and then Darth Vader, I think, were the options for the pins. But they are really cute. And if you're into this sort of crafty buttons, then definitely check her out. So I will link that down below. And I will also link down below separately, as well as Danglefoot, um, the website or the details for um, ACO Love Crafts. And she did the nail vinyls for this set and she did them obviously all in Star Wars but now she doesn't have a website I think you contacted through Instagram and Facebook so I was having a look last night so if you're interested in any of that I will link that down below for you but let's get started into the polish well actually I have two more things to show you quickly oh I don't think I'm Russell, Russell, Russell. I won't show you, but I, I also got a sample of one of her cuticle oils because Hayley, who runs down with her, also does cuticle oils as well. So if you want some of that, check that out. Now, I think I've got one of her cedarwood scent I think I've got before, and I'm not sure what that one is. And um, then also in the kit came with a latex barrier peel-off protector, and this one is called a Jedi Mind Trick. Um, I haven't actually got any latex barriers. They say that you can use this as a peel-off base coat, but I'm not. I'm just going to use it as kind of the liquid latex for nail art because I used to do gradients all the time, and I didn't because I don't like cleanup. So I think this obviously will answer my prayers um, and this is called Jedi Mind Trick I don't know if I said that and it's just liquid latex then there is four polishes so the first one you can't really have a Star Wars set without naming something the dark side so this one is a grey um, jelly yeah it's not curly it's a jelly base with loads of silver glitter in there look at that it kind of also almost a little bit purpley in the light but I'm not sure if that was the intention or if it's just kind of what what I pick it up like when I'm in here but that one is the dark side the next one is called I just as soon kiss a Wookiee and this is a kind of Chewbacca -y, ready brown color with lots and lots of micro glitter in there look at that another stunning one we then have um, use the force Luke so you've got the dark side and then you're balanced up with using the force and this one is a like um, it's kind of looks like Luna Grey from Model Zone base and then it's got lots of silver glitter in and I think the silver glitter kind of goes a little bit blue or it does in my light anyway and the silver glitter is all very very fine the last one is possibly my favourite named one and this is Tatooine Sunset and Tatooine is one of the planets in Star Wars and this is a kind of pottery um, brick colour and then again silver shimmer and glitter in it it's probably just shimmer actually not, not or very fine micro glitter so a really diverse set and I love Star Wars, I've got a few more of Danglefoot's and they've all been really really great formulas and I love the bottle shapes on them, like, it's quite strange because it's quite a standard bottle size but I really like how they fit in my helm and I, I love the amount of polish you get in them so I will link everything for everything in that gift set down below and if this is sold out just check out some of the other nail polishes on this, those are all from Danglefoot nail polish and the last ones are all from um, Dollish Polish. Now, I have been a big fan of Dollish Polish. I've shopped from them for quite a few years. They're one of the first indies that I ever bought, and I'm, I love them. Um, recently, she said she was a uh, Dolly said that she was going to be re-promoting the Elf Christmas Collection, which was last year's Christmas collection. Um, and so I jumped at the chance to grab them because I was really gutted that I didn't get them last year. Um, so there is seven or eight, let's think. There is eight nail polishes to talk about. So I'm going to go through them quite quickly because I will be um, wearing them all through December so you'll see them in my December favourites. First one is Salomon Nutcracker and this is the perfect um, pine Christmas tree colour. I love her greens. I've got some, one of my other favourite greens is Welcome to Forks. I love her greens. They're so beautiful. And this has got a very, very fine um, silver shimmer in it and it also goes kind of like a brighter green in the light there. So that one is son of a nutcracker. We then have what I'm wearing on my nails today, which is cotton, cotton headed knee muggins. And if I can get through the names of these polishes without um, laughing or stuttering, we'll do quite well. So this one is what I'm wearing. is a mint green with mint green, cream, and um, red square glitter. Very, very fine square glitter. So that one's quite unusual. And this one is just really Christmassy to me, even though it might not be the most Christmassy out of the ones in the box, I find this one really Christmassy. One that is not so Christmassy but still stunning is I like I just like smiling. Smiling's my favourite, which is this gorgeous pink. So you can wear this one all year round and I don't even think from the name you wouldn't even really know that it's that Christmassy. So it is a very, very um, fine micro glitter in purple, red and pink. I've already worn this one as well and it does build up quite nicely. Gets a little bit thick on the second coat if you're not too careful, so try and put two thin coats on. 
but again that one is so stunning and that one is I just like smiling smiling is my favorite then we have buddy there what's your favorite color and this is a beautiful tan color and I don't know if this may finally be my naked nail color I think it might be a little bit too dark because I'm so pale I really struggle to find that perfect mannequin hands color but that one there is buddy the elf what's your favorite color and i'll probably will link the link layer this one over the top and this one is called the seven layers of the candy cane forest which is an in your face glitter top so it is white green and red um, in variety of sizes and there are white triangles and stars and bows and i thought there were candy canes in it but they might be in the middle i'm not 100 percent if the camera will focus but yeah it is in a clear base even though it does look like it's in a slight green base when you hold it up i think it's just where there's so much glitter going on there it's it looks like the base is tinted we then have another one which i might wear to, um, tomorrow actually and which is you sit on a throne of lies and this is a gorgeous red jelly a really jelly polish i'm not sure how many coats it's going to need to build up and then you have large circles and large like octagons they might even be squares all in silver and it's just looking so festive and gorgeous we then have two which are, i've just said these are half of these are my favorite but i love blue polish and um, this first one is called he's an angry elf must be a south pole elf and it is kind of like a frozen blue polish so it is a blue curly base with um lots of silver holographic polish in there i don't think there's any blue i think it's just all silver but when, when you first look at it, you think it's blue, but I think it's just where the blue base has tinted the colour. Um, but that one he is, he's an angry elf, must be a South Pole elf. And the last one is Santa, oh my God, I know him, I know him. A white curly base, this might be my favourite. Um, it's a white curly base with a like, kind of dark blue, a light blue and a silver micro glitter running through it so absolutely stunning i love this collection as a whole if you don't if you cut don't want to get all of these or you just want to look at some other ones this year's holiday collection is inspired by home alone which is also amazing um it's hard to decide which ones you want to go for between that one and elf that one i think only has six nail polishes in it so i will link uh, everything for dollish polish down below and i will also link down below their um clearance bin which is on etsy because she does some of her like older polishes she brings them back in limited quantities so i've done um, a haul from there before as well so i'll link that all down below there's gonna be a lot of links down below in this video so that is my massive nail polish haul completed i've just looked at the time and i've managed to ramble through that in 14 minutes so well done me i hope i haven't like spoken too fast because i know i tend to do that um so if you've tried anything down below if you want to ask any questions give me a big old comment and thumbs up and subscribe and you know what to do um have, i'm hoping you're having a great christmas break and i will see you all soon bye guys